Imagine, I don't want to do this, but imagine for a second living in a scorpion infested apartment complex. That's what one woman in Mesa is dealing with right now. And all of these desert dwellers that you see, she claims that she caught in the apartment. Uh, and rightfully so, this mom describes it like a nightmare, one that she can't wake up from. And she's taking matters into her own hands. Team 12's Ryan Cody spoke to her just a little while ago, Ryan. Now that it's heating up, exterminators are fighting one of Arizona's most menacing pests and shedding light on how to find this venomous nuisance. We start to see scorpions come out in probably about mid-March. You don't have to tell Kayla Belotus. She's practically collecting these critters. We just have them in here because I know they can't climb the glass. Belotus filling up a fishbowl with scorpions she finds right outside her Mesa apartment. These are just the ones from tonight. I just don't want to find them every single day. That's where it's a problem is every day I'm finding them. I can't just get a break. And now that the summer's coming, I'm really worried. Mostly because of her two kids. So she takes a black light almost everywhere she goes. If I get up to go to the bathroom, I shine it through my path. Each night we'll shine it all around the kids' floor and all that just to make sure they're not there. The bark scorpion has the most potent venom of all of the scorpions. And that's the one that we find most here in the valley. Jeremy Miller with Urban Desert Pest Control uses the same tool as Belotus. Even if you've never used one before to search for a scorpion, once you come across it, it's gonna stand out like a sore thumb. It glows just like a glow stick and you, you can't mistake it. Oh, there he is way up there. Watch as we turn off our light. Even from 20 feet up in a tree, the scorpion glows. If you're gonna take a proactive approach, then Pest control treatment is essential. Going out and doing some black light hunting because again, any individual female can birth between 30 and 50, okay? So every single one that you kill, you're essentially... Hopefully killing 30 or 50 yeah. at a time. Yeah. Yeah, preventing an infestation. One thing to remember about scorpions, especially during our Arizona summer, is they can go a long time without oxygen. So if you see one at the bottom of the pool, that doesn't necessarily mean it's dead. It also does not necessarily mean it can't sting you. We're in Mesa, Ryan Cody, 12 News.